a very good morning to you. You're watching Times Now. I'm Pratibha, once known as the big brother of any alliance today. The Congress party in the run-up to the elections has been reduced to just second fiddle. In UP as well as in Delhi, it has been relegated to the role of a junior partner. In Gujarat, it has reportedly decided to assign two seats, Bharuch as well as Bhavnagar, for the Ahmadmi party, seeding space even in Haryana. In fact, this seems to be the story of the Congress party in almost every state where seat-sharing talks are going on. Breaking updates coming in amid the seat-sharing talks. Sources suggest that Rahul Gandhi and Uddhav Thakre had a discussion over the phone on the allocation of the seat distribution for the Lok Sabha polls. In fact, Rahul Gandhi also had a conversation with Sharad Pawar. My colleague Arunil joining us on the broadcast with the details. Arunil, uh, information coming in that now discussions have taken place on the phone, but now crucial decision could be taken on the 27th or the 28th of February when the final decision on seat sharing could be taken. Well, that is right, Pratibha. Uh, Rahul Gandhi basically had to make this call uh, to Uddhav Thakre as well as uh, to Sharad Pawar. Yesterday, the senior Congress leaders in Maharashtra, including uh, uh, the observer from Delhi, had met and they cleared it, saying that uh, the seat sharing conundrum remains, but they are hopeful that it will be solved by uh, this month's 26th or 27th, and the entire formula will be revealed uh, to the people of uh, uh, India with respect to Maharashtra is concerned. Uh, now, uh, uh, what is basically is happening in the state of Maharashtra at least is that uh, Uddhav Thakre, Shiv Sena and the Congress party have been traditional rivals in several constituencies. And aspirants from both the parties are very interested in uh, contesting elections this time. So pacifying uh, these aspirants becomes a Herculean task for the leaders of the Congress as well as from uh, Uddhav Thakre, Shiv Sena. Yesterday also, in the meeting itself, it was senior leader Sanjay Nirupam with his supporters coming to the meeting and doing a show of strength, asking for uh, the Mumbai Northwest seat, saying that it shouldn't be given to Uddhav Thakre's party, it should come to uh, uh, the uh, Congress party. Similarly, Milind Devran also quit on these conditions only, saying that the Mumbai South seat should not go to uh, uh, Uddhav Thakre's party, but it should come to the Congress party because Milind Devran obviously was interesting in contesting elections. So there are the conundrum with respect to seat sharing remains. Prakash Ambedkar on one side uh, continues to mount pressure on all the three alliance partners of the Mahavika Sakari. And amidst this conundrum and the confusion, Rahul Gandhi had to make this call to Uddhav Thakre and to Sharad. Okay, all right. So Arunil, uh, can you take us to any details coming in on which are the seats where the Congress party as well as the Shiv Sena Uddhav faction finds itself at loggerheads? Because these discussions have gone on for a long time. Now, of course, sources indicating that by the end of this month, a decision could be taken in this regard. But it's still with just weeks to go uh, for the Lok Sabha elections, just uh, uh, two months or so to go for the Lok Sabha elections. So which are the seats where discussions have been going on and there has been no headway? Any information on that? Well, there are 48 Lok Sabha seats in Maharashtra. Last time when uh, Shiv Sena had contested with BJP, they had contested on 22 number of seats. And Shiv Sena, Uddhav Thakkar's party, are very adamantly saying, are basically are very, uh, very staunchly and aggressively saying that they want those 22 number of seats this time as well. Uh, it looks like, uh, in fact, Uddhav Thakkar's party has gone ahead and uh, and appointed their observers for 18 Lok Sabha seats already. So they are basically considering 18 seats and asking for uh, four more. It basically leaves uh, the Congress party in uh, in a tight spot. The reason for that is uh, NCP, Sharad Pawar NCP is also asking for uh, around 10 seats. Prakash Ambedkar again will be asking for at least three seats. Okay. So very less, relatively less seats will be available for uh, about the Congress party. Earlier, okay. the division used to be made between two parties, Congress and the NCP. Okay. Now, the division has to be made in four parties. And that is why it puts the Congress party in a tight spot. Okay. And there so is a major... What's going to be decided. It uh, is likely to be decided by the end of the month. Arunil, thank you for joining us with those details. Let's shift our attention now to Uttar Pradesh.